Welcome to the Luminous program from the Shalom World TV. I am Father Francisco Fernandez, Associate Pastor of St. John the Evangelist Church in Whitby, Ontario, Canada. Today I want to speak to you about uh, the Virgin Mary, especially to focus on the Gospel of the Annunciation. So first of all, I would like to proclaim the Gospel and then comment on it. This Gospel is from Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town of, in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, you who enjoy God's favor. The Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Look, you are to conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I have no knowledge of man? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. And I tell you this too, your cousin Elizabeth also, in her old age, has conceived a son, and she whom people called barren is now in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible to God. Mary said, You see before you the Lord's servant. Let it happen to me as you have said. And the angel left her. So this gospel is crucial for our lives, for our salvation. And at the beginning of this gospel, it says that the, the angel Gabriel was sent to a town in Nazareth. The angel wasn't sent to Jerusalem, to a very popular place, but Nazareth is a very small village in Israel which wasn't even uh, uh, talked about in the Old Testament. A very small village with a, an unknown woman. This is how God acts. God normally looks for the weakest, uh, the humblest one. Uh, and also for us, it can be a help because God also uh, knows our weaknesses, our failings, and God looks for us and has chosen us, especially not because we are the greatest, but with our own weaknesses. So this virgin, was, uh, her name was Mary. And Mary, at that moment, was 14, 15 years old and was engaged to Joseph. She was already engaged. She was, they were not living together. But after one year, they will have been living together and Joseph will have taken her into his house. So it is in that moment that the angel Gabriel gave her this very important news to the Virgin Mary. The first thing that the angel Gabriel said to Mary is rejoice, rejoice. Many times in the, when we pray the rosary, we say, Hail Mary. But the word that the angel uh, said was rejoice. Rejoice because the Lord has chosen you, because the Lord has looked upon you. And this word rejoice fulfilled all the prophecies that they were in the Old Testament, that the Messiah will come 
to save his people because at that moment the people were uh, unfaithful, they have gone into exile, they have fallen into sin, and in the Old Testament there was a prophecy that the Messiah will come, that the Lord will come to his uh, people and save them. So there was in the prophet Sophonia, in, in different prophets, they say, rejoice Jerusalem because your savior is coming. He has come to rebuild you. So this word rejoice comes to the Virgin Mary to fulfill this prophecy that the Messiah has come to redeem his people, to rebuild his people. And this also is a word for us. Rejoice because the Lord has looked at our weaknesses. The Lord wants to come and rebuild our lives and give us new life. So uh, the Lord also says to her, the Lord is with you. The Lord wants to do wonders with you. And the Virgin Mary, she was disturbed by these words. She wonders what kind of greeting is this? Because she, the Virgin Mary knew the scriptures. She knew this prophecy. So she wonders how I can be chosen to bring with me the Messiah. How you are giving me now this word? What can I do? I am very, very little. I, don't, I am only 14, 15. How you are giving me this announcement so great? So she was asking the, the angel Gabriel, what kind of greeting is this? This is a messianic greeting. This brings salvation. So then the, the angel Gabriel said to her, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Even though at times the Lord uh, asks us something that for us may seem so great, and, and we feel overwhelmed. And the Lord says to the Virgin Mary, and also to us, do not be afraid, whatever the, all the Lord asks of us. And then the angel Gabriel said to the Virgin Mary, you have won God's favor. The Virgin Mary was chosen, not only because she was sinless, to be the mother of, of God, but she was chosen because she was humble she was she could accept herself she could accept her own weaknesses and she was open to God's plan so it is at that moment that the angel Gabriel gave her this great news who have uh, changed the course of humanity that says you are to conceive in your womb and bear a son and you must name him Jesus, uh, this announcement that in the Virgin Mary, she will be carrying the savior of the world because Jesus means the one who saves from sin. So now at last a savior has come to take away the sins of all humanity. Imagine what great news also for us. And then also, the angel Gabriel said to the Virgin Mary, this Messiah is also the Son of the Most High, the Son of God. And the Lord will give him the throne of David because the Messiah was to be supposed to come from the lineage of David. So imagine the Son of God, the, of the Most High, is uh, becoming man to share his life for us, to die for us, so that we may have life. And the Lord also will give him a kingdom which will never end. This kingdom that the Lord wants to share with us, this kingdom, this peace, this that death has been destroyed. And then the Virgin Mary said with humility how this can happen. Imagine this great announcement to conceive the Son of God, God himself in her womb. She asked the angel how this can happen. I don't even uh, have 
relationship with a man, how this conception can, uh, can come about. So the Virgin Mary wasn't uh, disbelieving this announcement, wasn't mistrusting, but she wanted to know how this can come about. She was aware of her own weaknesses and limitations. So she was asking the angel Gabriel, how this is going to happen? I am only a creature. I am only 14, 15. And the angel Gabriel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the Lord will do this in you. And this also same announcement is being given to us because at times, for instance, and when we married and we want to, to form a family, we feel that this is a, a, a huge uh, mission. We feel at times overwhelmed uh, to educate our children, to live our marriage uh, in unity with our husbands, and in many things to also in society live as a Christian in the midst of our society that is secular. And we think our times, how can I do this? I am very weak. And the Lord says to us, like he said to the, to the uh, Virgin Mary, the power of the Holy Spirit will do this in you. And the same for us. If at times we feel overwhelmed, also uh, we cannot forgive somebody, we feel uh, resentment. The Lord wants to give us this gift to give us the Holy Spirit so that he can do the impossible in us. What for us is very difficult, that we feel that we cannot do it on our own. And then uh, also the Lord gives this sign to her. Your cousin Elizabeth, which she was bearing, she was old, which is impossible that she will have had a son. Your cousin has been, also has conceived a son. So nothing is impossible to God. And also this is for us. Nothing is impossible to God. Even if today we feel that we have a situation that seems impossible, nothing is impossible to God. God can do anything, can rebuild our marriages, can rebuild the relationship that we have with our children, with family members. So, and the Virgin Mary, in that moment, she trusts in God. She said, I believe in that word. I want that that word may be fulfilled. Here you have before the Lord, the servant, the handmaid. Let it be done according to your word. So this yes of the Virgin Mary has changed the whole history because this conception, the fact that she brought in her womb Jesus, the Son of God, has given us the possibility to receive salvation, to receive forgiveness of our sins, to, re to receive a new life. So for us also we are invited. God has a plan for each one of us. And the Lord wants that we answer to him, yes, let it be done as you have said, according to your word, according to the power of the Most High, according to the power of the Holy Spirit. And the Virgin Mary says, I am the servant of the Lord. I know that I am only a creature. I know that I need to rely on God. Let it be done according to you. Let this great announcement happen in me and you may be ful fulfilling it. So the Virgin Mary was completely open to the plan of God. She said yes, completely. She trusted in the Lord. And the Lord also invites us to trust completely in the Lord. That when we say yes to the plan of God, whatever this plan may be, even for us it may seem so great, overwhelming, we can say like the Virgin Mary, let it be done according to your word. You have promised it and you will do it because one thing is for sure, the Lord is faithful. So if the Lord promises us 
something that he wants to accomplish in our lives, he will do it. So for us, we are invited today to be grateful to the Virgin Mary, that she say yes, and this is where we have received salvation for our lives, that we have received Jesus in our lives. And also for us, we are invited to receive this same salvation in our lives, to say, yes, God, I want to say yes to your plan, to the family that you have given me, to the work that you have given me, to everything that you want to do in my life. I say yes to you because you want to fulfill this plan in my life. You can do it. You are powerful. So now to finish this, uh, this announcement about the Virgin Mary, this, I want with all of you that we can pray the Hail Mary, these words of the angel, so that we can have this announcement fulfilled in our lives. So let, we can pray all together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So I'm just going to give you the final blessing, and I hope that you and your families can receive today peace and consolation. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you. Thank you. Really, with pleasure, through the intercession of our Mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and may God uh, bless us and keep us constantly under His blessing. He who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Shalom, world. God's own channel.